Kerwin's Game Store, the best place in gaming. Welcome back. Um, so we just got Oliver's decklist, uh, who we're going to be feature matching. He was seed two, second seed. And then we're, he's going to be playing against Adam Van Fleet, who was seventh seed. Um, Adam Van Fleet, they, they're both playing Abzan, but they're both playing uh, completely different lists. Yeah. So, like, Adam's is kind of... Adam's is, like... If you took the Abzan aggro deck and mashed it with the normal Abzan deck, there is four Rakasha, De Rakasha Death Dealer, but also four uh, Doomwake Giant. So there's no whips, and there's no there's no graveyard shenanigans, and there's no well, no well, there's, 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 there's whips. no yeah there, there's no whips, right? No. Yeah, there's whips. Oh, okay. There's two whips. <laughs> okay, so it's like. A weird combination of everything else. He got there, whatever. Yeah. And uh, Oliver's is is what looks like the straight up uh, constellation whip deck. You know, four yeah, seater whip. We, we, we saw so. we saw Oliver play before. He did well. Yeah. So all right, well, we will send it down right now to take a look and see Feature? what's happening Hopefully over there. Hopefully, they're sitting soon. Um, we're not one hundred percent sure, but um. All right, we got some shuffling going on. Looks good. So we got Oliver's on the left. You sure? <laughs> uh, well, those tiny hands tell me that it's not a full well, grown man. you just said left, not right. Oh, damn it. Hey. Mike doesn't know hey. left and right. We still have to hey. do the, you know, put your hands in the air and you do the L on the R. I'm the L, one on the second right way, one's on. I meant right, okay, man. Listen. <sighs> Van Fleet and then T M A J K O as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so they're presenting. Um our judge said that the said that we're not exactly ready to start, but I don't know why. I think I think we're about to be. Um I'm talking to the head judge up top right now. So I just do want to mention that um Oliver's obviously gonna be on the play here, unless he chooses otherwise. Um well I don't know that those rules are in play. I don't know that they were. I believe they were, in all reality. We didn't go over on the Okay, so, yep. Yeah, I see Van Fleet's wearing the uh, team flip side shirt. Flip side shirt. But, alright, so. Here we go. We're kicking off the quarterfinals of the Kerwin's Regional Final PTQ. Not regional. Not regional. The Kerwin's final PTQ. Regular PTQ. Win and in. You win it, you're in it. That's it. Oliver looks like he went straight to Mulligan. Doesn't even care about anything else. He's like, this isn't going to beat his deck. <clears throat> so while we sit here and watch Oliver shuffle, I'd like to remind everybody of... Upcoming events here at Kerwin's Game Store. On February 21st, there's a PPTQ here at the Home Store in Catskill. On ap the weekend of April 11th and 12th in Albany, New York, there's going to be this <clears throat> the Star City Games Spring New York State Champions. On sat on the 11th, it's going to be standard, and on the 12th, it's going to be modern. Yeah, it's a big... April's going to be a huge month for Capital Region 518 MTG. On the 18th, it's going to be... Kerwin's now basically, you know, annual Gamers Helping Gamers tournament. It's a 2K with three times uh, Planeswalker points and with John Finkel in attendance. Well, which is always most important. The tournament's really fun. You usually get huge turnouts for it. Uh, it is a fundraiser. Steve puts out, like, a lot of money and, and, you know, making sure it's a success, making sure Gamers Helping Gamers get some money out of that, making sure Finkel's here, everything. It's an amazing tournament. You get to play with Finkel. Finkel signs cards and um, of course, he you know soul crushes people. But we're gonna get onto our games right here. Uh, obviously, Oliver kept his six, uh, put his tap land, and uh, Adam Van Fleet was quick to follow with the tap land of his own. Oliver goes uh, turn, turn two, two <laughs> turn two seven carry Ted. seems pretty good.
this is a play we've seen all day. <laughs> yeah. Getting that, getting that margin of life. Turn two carry it did into turn three Corsair with a land drop following. He's just got a Corsair. Okay. Or Borg on top, though. Neither player has white mana yet. Well, besides the carry did. Right. Not too bad. Ooh, wow, another Corsair is going to be really nice. I'm going to flip that card. Another land on top. So, play Corsair. Whoa. He's not Oliver has better oh. things to do with his time. I don't think that makes sense. Oliver has better things like to do with his time. I don't even think that's... I don't think that's appropriate. Oliver? Unless he wants to slam whip early. Well, I think he slams... I think he might be slamming a siege rhino here. Uh, he is at 22 either way. If he slams a siege rhino, he doesn't have to crack that fetch. He draws another siege rhino. And his opponent goes ahead and takes it. Slam Siege right now. Yeah, I mean, Oliver's playing fast. He just wants to kind of get some beats in. He's obviously not going to crack that fetch with the Siege right now on top. And a whip in hand. My immediate instinct is to say he has got the lead here. <clears throat> He's going to go ahead and go 15. Yeah, I mean, Oliver looks like he's in... He's demanding control of this game. Yeah, he, he's playing fast and I wouldn't say loose, but fast and loose. Fast and tight. Gains a life from the trigger, reveals the top card, goes to find a card, goes to 15, land enters the battlefield, triggers Corsair. And we can only assume Adam's gonna play a, a Siege Rhino of his own. Well, this, that's a Soren in his hand, and a Siege Rhino on top. That'd be pretty good. He's thinking about what he should do. He, like we said, he does have a Soren in hand. Maybe he's thinking about getting that out there. He goes ahead and plays a Soren. Makes a Vampire. And we're just going to pass the turn back to Oliver. Now Oliver is going to have two Siege Rhinos. Gonna yeah. Untap, draw that Siege Rhino. Reveal the top. The fact that he has Whip in hand too. I'm pretty, this is Oliver's game to lose, to say the least. Oliver slowing down for a second, just making sure everything's good. Crushing with Siege Rhino, he says, I kill him. <laughs> That's fine. I want a 4 mana 2 2 anyway. 2 2 flyer, but still. Oliver plays Siege Rhino number 2, goes up to 27. Helix is for days. I think, he ha I think he has to tap. Oh, take 2 life there? No, take 1 life. He takes 1, so he should go up to 26. Yep, you're correct, sir. And obvious. No, no, he just came 27 because of land. 27 from the land. His opponent's at 13. Oliver's gonna tap. Let's see here. No, he passed it back. Okay. Well, I think he's about to. Well, no, because his opponent's lands are on top. See? Yeah, I'll overpass. There's an unknown card on top of Oliver's opponent's deck. Yeah. Um, uh, I can assume it's a Doomwake Giant? Or a Downs Ball. I have no idea. I kind of see a guy leaning over. The glare's pretty bad on That's fine. We'll figure it out in a minute. He's going to play a Siege Rhino of his own. Go ahead and go up to 7, 16? Yeah, 16 is math. Gonna go ahead and go up to 16. Bring Oliver Drop down. To 24. To 24, and then he swings in with that, brings him down to 22. Trying to keep Oliver under control here. Well, he scries whatever, whatever that card puts down to the bottom. His next card is a Raksasha Death Dealer. 17 to 22 is life totals. 
gains a life off of Skyland. That Skyland entered the battlefield, and now Oliver untaps and says, "You know what? <laughs> I have a whip of Erebos in my hand." And it, I don't even. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I. I think I'm gonna play this whip of Erebos. I like how Oliver hasn't been able to slash wanted to crack that windswept heat. It just. <laughs> He's got too much value otherwise. If you're Oliver here, you just slam that whip of Erebos and smash for 10 lifelink. I see nothing wrong with that. Eight of its trample. He has a different plan, I guess. Gonna double block one. I actually think Oliver's okay with that because Oliver wants... Uh, First of all, getting rid of his sil um what's his name? Boy, Corsair. Right Corsair is really good for Oliver. He's gonna stop gaining life and get card advantage. And now he's gonna play a second Corsair of his own, go up to twenty four. Yeah, now he's gonna be able to start whipping back Siege Rhinos and that's just life swings on life swings on life swings. It might be a small Passes back to his opponent. Opponent's looking, you know, it doesn't, you know, to be honest, it doesn't look that bleak from his opponent's perspective. It looks bleak, but it's not my opponent has a whip of Erebos bleak. He goes ahead and plays a Rakshasha Death Dealer. That'll be pretty good to grind out games, you know. Block that Siege Rhino. Plays a Solemn, solemn Visitor. I can only... Is, oh, he makes another Vampire. I think I think I would have plussed. Uh, I think it's too important to get creatures on the field right now. Yeah, I mean, but you get a 5-5 five, five, five lifelink. To protect yourself with. Oliver untaps. He takes two from the flying vampire, so thirteen. To takes 22. two. Yeah. Um. So Oliver can crack his fetch here to try to get. I guess he won't. Of course, got. <laughs> trying, trying his best to find like, one more land. Because that would mean that he gets to play whip and activate it. I mean, that might be the final nail in the coffin. Although Guess the course of wants to whip out before Thought Seizes come, huh? Yeah, I mean, how many Thought Seizes does he have? Two. He has two Thought Seizes. They, the players do not have each other's deck lists, so that's an important thing to note. No one's going to be playing around anything here. Well, playing around something known. And Oliver just wants to jam that yeah, Hornet yeah, Queen. That's pretty good. It's just like Adam can't really even attack now. I mean, the death. De I mean, no, you're not gonna. Oh, he can't attack. He dies. <laughs> so that's six in the air now, three on the ground. Plus the next turn, he can probably whip an attack. He's gonna tap he three. He another Corsair on top. That's kind of. And cool. Corsair, reveal a Rakshasa Death Dealer on top. That you cannot see whatsoever, but I promise is a Rock Sasha yeah. Death well, Dealer. I, you see how Oliver has another. On top. 14 to 23. You get a life. Adam trying to figure out some way that he can. Maybe squeeze some sort of victory out of this, but he just got way too many things. I mean, you have to plus the Zorin. That's step one. Unless you. Uh, can the Zorin make another vampire? Yeah. Okay. Just dies. I support it. We'll try and get a token in there, hopefully, soon. And now Adam plays a whip of his own. Oliver takes a look at his opponent's graveyard, trying to see if there's anything spicy in there. I 
Here's a land on top. There you go. Game Please two, land. Go to Game 25. Two. Has a hero's downfall on top. It's looking very grim for Adam Van Fleet. Fleet. So Oliver can just go for the whip rhino swing? That would be kind of aggressive, but I don't know that I would fault him. Just swings with Hornet Queen in the air. That's willing to Oh god. That's why he waited with oh the whip. Oh my, why did he do that? Why did he not just take two? That's really poor. Maybe he's not maybe He has no idea that Oliver has whip. You have to assume. And I still wouldn't trade. Leave it on the field for as long as bloody possible. And then Oliver plays with him. And he scoops him up. 